Ooh, look at him. He's all spunky. <laughs> Seems like the colder it gets, the more spunky Ollie gets. Hey, Ollie. So today we have the bunnies in the house and Brooke is sexing them and picking out the cute ones because she was gonna, decided to sell the cute ones. So anyway. Mm -hmm. I might keep this one though. <laughs> no, this one's a little girl. It's a little, um, it, it has just a little bit of the otter on it and I'd like to breed her back to the buck and see if I can't. Um, get more of a blue otter since she doesn't have the circles around her eyes so but other than that she, I mean she she is a blue otter so she wouldn't be a good show one because she doesn't have the circle around the eyes so and so here are the other cute ones that we have and let me see I think there's how many Two bucks and then three females, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, the the other two blue otters are like, um, those two are bucks and the rest are females. So this is a female right here. And that one's a female. That one looks like Chloe. Right here is just the first batch that Brooke brought in. She's taking pictures of them so that way she can list them for sale. Yeah. And so, hmm. so cute. <laughs> oh, then Miley over there, what are you doing? I'm calling. Coloring Pokemon. She's got a neat little system there. All the non colored ones are in the back. I colored that one a little. And then Pokemon right there. Non Pokemon ones are right there. And then the college ones. And then my last favorite Pokemon. I I like those two. I just put them here. I don't know why. And all my favorite Pokemon. There's a bunch of them. I kind of colored on the back of them a little just to find like the right colors for some of them. Mm -hmm. Some of the colors may not be right for some of the Pokemon, too. It's just the best color I could find. Mm. Those are pretty cool. And so how do you know what colors to color all the Pokemon? I look at pictures on my phone. Because... That's the one you're working on now? Yep. <laughs> it's okay. I kind of oh, got a cute so picture. Cute. She's just not, not. Is it this, though? Is it a boy or is it? Is this in a boy or is it a girl? It's a little girl. Little oh, girl. Yeah. She's just so cute. Her little face is cute. I love that little spot, like right by her nose. She's just wandering off. Now the reason we've decided to sell some of them is because Brooke wants to recoup some of the expense that she has put into um, raising them. And then the reason why we chose the cutest ones is number one, because the kids don't think that they could butcher the cute ones, and number two, um, they, she thinks the cuter ones would probably more likely sell better than the other ones. So now we got the second round of cute bunnies in that are going to be for sale. Well, Burke's been working on getting the bunnies sexed and um, pictures taken 
I ran out and did chores. And let me tell you, it's a cold one out there. I've got a wind chill warning going on today. So I still need to go out there and give the goats and Ollie some alfalfa. But I came in to warm up real quick before I went back out there. It's that cold. And Miley went outside to help me. And now she's right over there getting warmed up over the vent. It's cold! So today is kind of an odd kind of day. Um, it, as I said before, it is super duper cold outside. And um, we've gotten all of our chores done for the most part. So now we can just pretty much stay in for the day. And... <laughs> Miley's making faces at me. At the, no, I'm just camera. doing this. I'm just smiling. That's all I'm doing. So anyway, it is about almost two o'clock, and we haven't had lunch yet. And Michael is not gonna be home tonight. And Brooke is off today, so it's just Brooke, Miley, and I. We're just kind of hanging out, doing kind of just whatever. We don't really have a schedule as long as we get all of our work done that's all that really counts so um, I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and fix a new recipe that I've been wanting to try uh, let's see what is it called it's um, it's cabbage sausage and potato soup and I think it sounds really really good I'm gonna make it with some of our sausage from our pork this is some German sausage and it comes in a pack that's about twice the size of this. It's huge. And so um, what I do is I cut it in half and get two meals out of it. So anyway, I'm going to slice this up and get started on that soup. And you're oh. munching on an apple, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. So we're having our lupper, yeah. lunch and supper. I think it's just a little bit on the garlicky side because it called for three cloves of garlic and I used really big cloves. But Brooke says that that's the part that makes it delicious. Mm -hmm. I like it the way it is. So, so what'd you think of the soup? It's okay. It's okay. Looks like you ate everything but the cabbage. Well, we finished up our supper and we were getting ready to have a nice, relaxing evening around the fire. And then I just heard that there's a wind chill advisory out for us. And there's several places around our area, maybe a couple hours from here, that are actually canceling school tomorrow due to the, the wind chill. So I decided I better get out here and give the goats extra hay, give Ollie extra hay, and kind of get everybody prepared so that way they can stay warm. Boy, it is bitterly cold out here. It's taking no time at all to get cold. We have just a little bit of snow flurries. I think I'll get Ollie tie him up so that way he won't bother me while I 
get the hay for the animals. Hey, Ollie, come here! Ooh, look at him. He's all spunky. <laughs> Seems like the colder it gets, the more spunky Ollie gets. Hey, Ollie. It is snowing. The first time I've, I've seen it snow. I broke Ollie's lead, so I had to just tie it to the side of his face right there. <laughs> so I'm hoping that'll keep him contained How'd until I get the hay. It? Oh, I was trying to bang it on the fence because the little latch was stuck and it just busted it off. Need to get him a new one. Oh, it is super cold and there's no time for dilly dally and I need to get this done so I think I'm going to leave you guys here in the barn where it's warm while I go get the hay. Yes, he is getting big and he's boisterous and he's... Come here, Ollie. Come here. Spoiled. That's what he is. I got some hay out of the Ollie shelter. I got several loads of hay added into the goats shelter over there. Then I also added some hay over there to um, Little Bit's shelter. And so I'm hoping that will be sufficient. So did you get your rabbits all fixed up? Yes, I did. Ah! Hey! <laughs> finally went in the house a while ago. But you got warmed up, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. My toes are still just a little cold, though. Yeah. Well, anyway, we are done. We're going to go in the house. We're going to warm up and spend the rest of the evening sitting by the warm fire. Only the fire's not going. Well, we're going to get the fire going, and then we're going to spend the rest of the evening We sitting. should all take a handful of wood inside. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll all take a handful of wood. We'll get the fire going, and then we'll spend the rest of the evening. I am fire. gonna color, definitely. And then color. And maybe print like a few little things. All right. Maybe like a cat, a cat or something, if I can find one. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know what there is about cold weather and animals. <laughs> But they just seem to get all hyper. Ollie was hyper a while ago. Oh, he he was, was like bucking and running. And, yeah. There must be a blizzard coming. Oh, there must be. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got the wild child over there. So, yeah, definitely a blizzard must be coming. I'm tired of oh, I think we all ought to be scared. Brooks just put up a little bit of a wind break. For the rabbits. I think that'll keep them nice and toasty warm anyway. <laughs> Maybe not toasty warm, but at least it'll keep them from having the effects of the horrible yes. wind. Um, it's awful now. It is. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like in the morning. Two out, they said. Huh? It says it feels like negative two out, and it's only 14. And we're in a wind chill warning too. We're in a wind chill warning and a frostbite warning in the morning.